up YouTube, Spade here with a mixed tier UUNU match against uh, this one guy whose name makes no sense to me, so I'm just gonna call him BC. And this was a really fun match and we are both using some custom sets here. So yeah, let's begin. So I lead off with Drifblim and he leads off with God of War and I just go straight for the trick cause I figure he's gonna set up something. And I get his Lumberry and he goes for Safeguard and I thought during this match that he went for the Reflect. So that's gonna be funny really soon. As I go for, go for Shadow Ball on the switch he goes into Arbok and uh, it looks to be a 3 hit KO and I go for Will-O-Wisp <laughs> and I now see that he went for the... Uh, Safeguard, so <laughs> that sucked. He goes for Sludge Bomb. I get cured by the Lumberry, which I stole from him. So that was a re really good thing for me. And uh, Shadow Ball doesn't quite take him out, so I'm gonna have to go for it one more time. But at the same time, Sludge Bomb isn't really doing anything to me. And he goes into Nine Tails. I was thinking this might be some sort of bulky Nine Tails, so I just stay and try to explode. But he seems to be a physical one, of course. And he's gonna take me out, but he's gonna get recoil and aftermath damage. So that's really good for me. And now I switch into my Entei. Just uh, hoping to set up here, go for the Howl on the switch as he goes back into God of War. And he goes for Encore, which kinda sucks, so I'm forced to go for the Howl again. So now we are both locked into moves we really don't like, so we are going to make a double switch. He goes into Tangrowth, I go into my manly Gallade, aka God of War, and I go for Trick here, give him choice back, so his Tangrowth physical wall is now pretty much useless. He puts me to sleep, doesn't matter too much. Switches into Quillfish, I burn a turn of sleep, I switch into my physical wall, who is my Leafeon to take the waterfall. And uh, I don't r I'm not really worried if he's carrying the poison jab. And now he goes for Endure. And I go for Leaf Blade, but since this is a max defense Leafeon, it doesn't take him down to 1 HP. So he won't be using Flail on me, which is really good. And he now he goes for Destiny Bond, as I went for Protect just to scout him. And uh, now I go for Wish just to try to stall and uh, now he switches, now I go for the leaf play thinking he's gonna switch but he switches into his uh, Sceptile who resists and uh, he goes for Toxic, I figured he's gonna bluff the hidden power, Ch that's, that's why I stayed in and I go for my own Toxic but yeah <laughs> he's also carrying Toxic so that's gonna make my job as a wall a bit more difficult. He goes for hidden power but it it's not a fire or ice, so I guess he solved it wrong, wrong or something. And now I know the safe play here is to switch into my Entei, because the Toxic is racking up. Because I know he would like to hit me with Flare Blitz with Ninetales, so I go into my Entei on this double switch. And uh, he goes for Zen Headbutt. And yeah, it does like nothing, so I'm gonna use this Ninetales as a setup fodder. Goes for Zen Head, but again, but it's a 4 hit KO. And now I just go for the rest, and I do have Chesto Berry. But of course, I get Flint, so I'm forced to go for the extreme speed here just to take the sucker out. And uh, yeah, down goes the Nine Tails. And uh, now he's gonna go into his God of War, and he's gonna finish me off with a Psychic. So if I had used the. Uh, get my rest off, it would have been really good and I guess I could have gone for the extreme speed but whatever, it didn't matter, you will see later on. So I go into my own own God of War and I burn a turn of sleep, he switches into his uh, Sceptile, goes for Leaf Storm, it doesn't quite take me out but he does have the White Herb to restore his status and uh, I decide to switch now into my Leafeon to resist the leaf storm. I guess I should have done this the uh, turn earlier, but oh well. Leaf storm does quite a lot because Leafeon doesn't have the best special defen defense. It's only good for the physical side. So I'm just gonna go for protect here because I know Toxic will take out the uh, Sceptile and then I get a chance to scout his next move because Toxic will not take me out. 
So yeah, I leave with 27 and uh, he goes into God War, locks himself into Psychic. So uh, I go into my own God War and uh, I just try to wake up here. He goes for Psychic. It looks to be a solid 2 hit KO. I might be able to leave here another one. That's what I try to do. I wake up, go for Wish. But of course I don't leave another Psychic, which is unfortunate. But I go into my Clefable, my late game sweeper. I figure I can set up here. He goes for a Psychic. It doesn't even do half. I go for Cosmic Power. So yeah, I can use this God War as a setup for... Uh, and uh, I get my Toxic Orb. And now I just go for the safe uh, softball on the switch. And uh, I know he's gonna try to lure me into using facade. So I'm just gonna stall out here a bit. He goes for flail. And I'm not gonna attack him. Because I know he has only max of 8 pp on... Or power points. P pp joke. Ha ha ha. So he has only max of... 8 power points per move uh, on Endure and uh, Destiny Bond, so I can easily stall him out. I went for Belly Drum, he gets a funny crit, doesn't take me out with Flare, so I just go for Softball, get back to full HP, and uh, tries to Endure, I just go for Cosmic Power just for the lols to stall him out. And. Uh, now he goes for Waterfall, and it looks like he's out of power points on Endure and uh, Destiny Bond. So, and he gets another crit, but I go for Softball, and yeah, now I'm sure he doesn't have any power points left. So I go for Facade, and just take out the Quillfish. So that was a big stall war, but finally it's over. But of course, his God of War also has Destiny Bond. So all this time I wasted to setting up is like kind of for nothing. But at least I take down the God of War, which I needed, because my last guy is Hitmontop, which is weak to Psychic. And now he all he has left is a Choice Specs Tangroad. So I'm just gonna go into my Hitmontop, just go for the bulk up, thinking he might have the Power Whip. But of course he has the energy ball, so Joe Specs go is gonna give him a bit of extra power, but since I do have some special defense EVs, it doesn't look to be a 2 hit KO, and my aerial ace looks to be a 3 hit KO as well. But since I do have rest, that is, that is perfect, because that's gonna buy me that one extra turn I need to take down this uh, tank growth, and I do have the Chesto Berry as well, so... I'm gonna instantly wake up and um, I go for Aerial Ace here and uh, yeah one more should do the trick and he's gonna go for Energy Ball here but uh, that's not gonna be enough to take me out and n another Aerial Ace will take down Dank Road so that was a really good game really close one and uh, since my opponent's name was BC, which reminds me of DC, the short term for disconnecting, today I'm going to ask you what is going on with Wi-Fi. Because I have had some people sending me private messages that they can compete the uh, tourney matches because the Wi-Fi isn't working. And some people on Skype have also told me that there's the bloom screen effect going on. And I also... Ha I had myself, I have had few battles which also had DC'd, one of them was with Xenon, We'd ha we had a fucking Ubers match with, which uh, we <laughs> we both never really do and it DC'd and I was like fuck. and uh, so yeah, if you know something about this phenomena leave a comment below, but yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time, spade is out, peace.